Without revealing their names, do you recognize these characters at all? They are the brand mascots that have been sitting on the cereal boxes since the dawn of age. Breakfast cereal brands use these mascots, or the so-called spokes characters, to build their brand. As humans, we have a tendency to understand the world through anthropomorphic objects. This is why a mascot is particularly efficient in establishing an emotional connection with us. Consumers love mascots because they give these boring businesses a personality, a face that we can identify with. They're no longer incorporations, LLCs, or S-Corps. They're now Tony the Tiger, Captain Crunch, or Trix the Rabbit. These characters are adorable to look at, but there's also a creepy backstory behind their design. Apparently, they make eye contact with children at grocery stores. Back in 2014, Cornell University's Food and Brand Lab published a study on cereal brand characters. They discovered that characters on the cereal boxes that marketed towards children were intentionally designed to look downward. The researchers evaluated 65 cereals, collecting a total of 86 different mascots. Of the 86 mascots, 57 were marketed towards children and 29 towards adults. The data was evident. The average angle of inflection of children's cereal was downward at a 9.6 degree angle. For adult cereals, the characters actually looked up at a 0.43 degree angle. The math behind this was straightforward. Although the graphics were in 2D, the researchers assumed there's depth to the eyeballs and that they were spherical. In order to calculate the angle of inflection, they had to figure out the height of depression and the diameter of the eyeball. Once these two dimensions were calculated, they could calculate the angle of inflection using trigonometry. Other than the angle of inflection, the Cornell researchers also used the height of the eye as a parameter. The height of the eye was calculated by adding the distance of the eye to the bottom of the cereal box plus the average shelf height. The height of the eye from the data actually didn't vary much, but the height of the shoppers did. The researchers then made the conclusion that the difference of the eye angle was designed to target different demographics. With this 9.6 degree angle, it creates an illusion that the character is making eye contact with the younger consumers in the aisles. But why do brands want to have this creepy effect on their boxes? It's common knowledge that eye contact builds trust and fosters positive attitudes. This sounds good in theory, but so far, there's no evidence that supports this connection. The Cornell researchers then took this study further, collecting data to see if eye contact makes a difference in consumers' behavior. The answer was yes. The study concluded that eye contact increased brand trust by 16% and brand connectivity by 28% seems like our minds are indeed pre-programmed to trust people who look us in the eye. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and to hit that like button before you go. See you soon.